The only explanation for that is the plumbing here is terrible. I don't believe in ghosts, unlike certain other agents. Sorry, that's not the reaction you wanted, is it? What I meant to say was... <laughs> oh my, I am so shocked and startled. Please save me from myself. What's going on here, Abu? The drinking fountain is having a little moment. Oh, it's just the fountain, Abu, again? It still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers, Abu. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. It's an unplugged TV. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It appears to be powering itself. That's warped. It's now showing I love my cat. It's tuned to I love my cat. As it's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's tuned to banana, banana, bananas. A hidden camera show that leaves banana peels in unexpected places, like the toilet. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. It's now showing hospital hijinks. I turned it off. This channel is just static. It's now showing I love my cat. My toys will never get made. Mom always said I wouldn't amount to much. Oh, oh. The doors are closed. It doesn't seem to react to anything I do. I don't know what's powering it because it's not plugged in. It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic Special. Ah, that stings! <laughs> I miss my father. <laughs> I never really... Ah! Oh, what's that? Take a deep breath and think calm thoughts. The effect would be better if someone was using it. Ah. Oh, what's that again? Take a deep breath and think calm thoughts. Oh. 
Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not, Abu. I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. That's not the Tron 3000 I'm looking for. That's not the Tron 3000 I'm looking for. That doesn't seem to work. Sure, I'll carry your crap. There's no more fingerprint powder left. Like I don't have enough to carry already. Those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. I don't want to pick that up. Keep your panties on! I'm coming! Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine! Pizza delivery for Ransom the Clown. 
You still there, Red? I thought I told you to f off already. Ransom the Clown? I heard you know about a body by the bridge. Jeez, no foreplay, Red? You don't beat around the bush, do you? Not my style. You can ask your questions, Toots, but I'm not saying I'll answer. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're gonna have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself and the town folk leave me the f alone. Thank you. I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here and I can't go anywhere else after my f ex-wife took me for everything I had. We heard you don't get along with the locals. Given my f creepy clown face and Paul Sean for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total Scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would've been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, Red. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. Tickets, 25 cents. It says, no feds without a warrant. We already have a map. No need to trick Natalie again. Empty and pretty disgusting. I miss my fridge assistant. Oh, those were the days. Now even the mold has fungus. I miss my housekeeper that's just my eviction notice from five years ago it's a stack of eviction notices <laughs> like that sheriff is really gonna drag me to court I scare the crap out of him no thanks better leave it where it is always time to do laundry later
It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. I can't read it until it's out of the safe. It's a page from my joke book. It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. Got the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck back into the. Got the page stuck back into the. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? What a f of a f still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. Looks like a rat hole. It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Lil Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. I need to be higher to jump on it. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible... I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil Beeper. I can't get there from here. There's another way. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves. Okay, two. I can count. Almost half full. It's a full bag of popcorn! Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. Reach that. She is too far away. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? More like Ricky's up tubes, but whatever. <sighs> Can't you ever be nice, Ransom?
Hey, it's Rick with the stick. I don't have a stick. These are tubes. Sure you do. It's lodged so far up your ass, I can see it poking out your mouth when you talk. Jeez, you must need a boyfriend. It's a Freudian nightmare in here, toots. Well, Ransom, maybe if you weren't such a tool all the time, you wouldn't see them everywhere you go. So you finally realized you can't fake for No, business was just slow, and I went in a new direction. The town bum wouldn't eat your leftovers, dollface. The only thing your pies were good for were throwing at my audience. Ah, You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. Ratting to the feds on me, eh? Just order your food and get lost. Give me a greasy crap burger with extra heart attack. We're not serving hamburgers until our hot dogs are gone. Now get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I ought to know. I, uh... Gotta go. I feel better now. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So, I guess we both look like Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line, because it's too easy. But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like... I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. <laughs> You're one to talk. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor to got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an... You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So, I guess we both look like... You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? I, I I don't talk about that. Well, I hated him too. Really? Yeah, that arrogant snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milk toast little of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls, because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn. And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me! You! I have a brand new wallet that no one wants. Oh, Ransom the Clown Wallet. 
Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I gonna do with this piece of... Great. What do I want with a bloody wallet? No way am I going in there. She is a crazy... A vengeful witch! Buy me some kombucha? I need to stay focused and solve this murder. Loose change? Buy me some kombucha? Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? You got any loose change? You got any loose change? You got any loose change? Like I don't have enough to carry already. Loose change? Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? This isn't mud on the wallet. It looks more like a bloodstain. There's nothing inside, no money, nor any ID. It doesn't seem to be working. 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 Definitely Reyes's notebook. Tempting, but no. Oh, my notebook. I thought I'd... It doesn't seem to be working. It seems to be missing a tube. It seems to be missing a tube. where we can talk. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. 
I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. It doesn't seem to be working. It seems to be missing a tube. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Fluoride is a conspiracy to... We already have a map. No need to trick Natalie again. You got any gluten-free donuts? You got... Looks like a really big tube. I don't want that. Diggin! Diggin! Excuse me, sir, may I ask what you are doing? I'm just digging. Mostly holes. <laughs> but then I bury them again, all neat and tidy. Diggin! Excuse me, sir, may I ask what you are doing? I'm just digging. Mostly holes. <laughs> Then I bury them again, all neat and tidy. Diggin! Hello, how can I help you? Federal agent. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Better ring the doorbell. I really can't talk right now. Still dealing with family issues. Maybe you can come back later. Okay then. I'll be back. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. It's a can of poopsie. There's nothing inside. 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 Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. 
Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. Ah, <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. <gasps> Don't make Chucky cry. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores. If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Ugh, stop bothering Peter. Have you called the stupid lawyer yet? Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck, so it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. It says, out of- The sign says it's out of order. I don't need to find any books now. Digging! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! These are in mint condition. No way I'm going to touch them. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. It's a defunct robot prototype.
Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a strange device with a red button. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's a spare AT25 Arrestron tube. Very rare, hard to find. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Hmm, funny desk. No drawer... That should fix it. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Oh, what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent of Reno's actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Reno. Oh, blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Reno. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Areno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Areno. Well, Willie Areno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Areno? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Areno? Have at him. Okay. Who wants to play bad cop and who wants to play good cop? Um... I'll play good cop. I'm the bad cop. And she's the good cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm D.B. Cooper and I stole all the money. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm Jack the Ripper. Anything else you want to confess to? 
I took the beef. Keep talking, murder boy. I'm the Zodiac Killer. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I, I killed Jimmy Hoffa for the mob. Blab on. You can't beat good cop, bad cop. I, I was the mastermind behind the Amsterdam Diamond Heist. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah. I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. 